Christians, the end is May 21st, 2011. According to their biblical calculations, that's when a massive earthquake will send the world into turmoil, leading to its ultimate demise on October 21st. We travel to as many states as possible to proclaim the fact that May 21st, 2011 is the day of the Lord's return. When we caravan, we see people that give us the thumb. They say thumbs up. We also see people that, unfortunately, give us the other, the other finger. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man. <laughs> Something is wrong here. War, disease, death, destruction, hunger, filth, poverty, torture, crime, corruption, and the ice capades. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong. This is not good work. If this is the best God can do, I am not impressed. Standpoint, what's wrong with burning a Quran? Great question. I think what's wrong is, from a Christian perspective, we are taught in our scriptures to uh, honor, love, and respect other people and uh, treat them as we would want to be treated. I believe that the Muslims uh, are, are welcome to have their religion as they wish. They can, if they wish to be uh, committed to their, um, their belief system, that is, that's their decision to make. We as Christians, however, are waiting for Christ. And in the, in the interim, we are reaching out to the Muslim community to, make, to show them the way to um, eternal life as we understand it. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with the small-time pastor who has stirred up a big-time controversy. His congregation is only a few dozen strong, but his plan to mark 9-11 by burning the Quran is your uh, sign, sign advertising right. the event. That's true. 6 to 9 p.m., three hours of Quran burning. 200 Qurans. That you're going to burn. Yeah, that have been sent to us. Mm -hmm. Right. That'll be quite a fire. Yeah, it's supposed to be. You looking forward to that? I don't really think that's the right word. Uh, we're actually not looking forward to it. And welcome back to my war on atheism. This time, I'm launching anti-aircraft missiles at anyone who doesn't believe that the Earth is the spiritual center of the universe. It was bad enough to have the religious wars of the 17th century. What happens if we get new religious wars with atomic bombs? At I'm standing next to this guy. He turns towards me and he sneezes like this. He goes, Fuh! I looked at him and I went, uh, God bless you. <laughs> guy looks at me and very condescending, he goes, uh, yeah, I'm an atheist. I'm trying to be polite. I don't know you're an atheist, right? And even if I did, what am I supposed to say when an atheist sneezes? Uh, when you die, nothing happens. My question is, if they want to honor the, the veterans who have passed away, but they're atheists, they don't believe in life after death, who are they really honoring? Oh, she turned me into a newt. A newt. We got better. It's amazing what you can accomplish with a simple baseball bat. <laughs> Ready to begin their assault against the Turks. June 19th. They take the town of Nicaea. June 26th, Dorylium falls. A crusader present at the battle writes, let no one deny the valor of the Turks. They would be the finest of races if only they were Christians. You will protect the pilgrim road. All are welcome in Jerusalem, not only because it's expedient, but because it is right. Whatever you ask, I will serve. What is happening between Somalia and Ethiopia is not a mere war between two African countries. It is an Islamic conflict with a Christian country representing the West. Sounds familiar? So do the declarations of the Muslim side.
it as a hierarchy of his love. The absolute center of the universe is where you'll find biblical Christ followers like me, people who best understand how God thinks. You know, he loves everyone, but he loves us the most. Nothing can contradict anything in the Bible and, and possibly be true. If the world does come to an end here or wherever, or if it limps into the future, decimated by the effects of a religion-inspired nuclear terrorism, let's remember what the real problem was, that we learned how to precipitate mass death before we got past the neurological disorder of wishing for it. Thank you. Good night. And God bless America.